going on. Um, <clears throat> so this is going to be my first time using this little tripod right here, but uh, I'm about to make some spaghetti and some corn on the cob, you know what I'm saying? Um, go ahead and cut up these onions and green peppers and go ahead and get the uh, hamburger start, you know, start frying the hamburger. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all a little bit right quick. Chef ATM, man, you know, I'm in the building. Um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and start start whipping it up. You know what I'm saying? Um, give me one second. Got me a little uh, pack of hamburger. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start frying that. Put a little bit of salt and pepper um, and some Italian seasoning. Next thing I'm going to do is chop up the hamburger a little bit. Cut up this onion.
Ooh, this ain't strong as fuck. Shit. Woo. I ain't got no onion like this in a minute. Woo. Shout out to everybody who watching. This how this how I make my spaghetti shit. This should be good as fuck. Sauce ready too. The sauce already ready. I usually add water because when you're cooking it, I usually cook my spaghetti for like an hour and a half. Give the meat some flavor. Plus, I season the meat. You're gonna put a couple of onions in this hamburger. of the onions and the sauce. Got this green pepper. I'm about to chop up, rinse it off first. these seeds you can regrow these seeds these green pepper seeds you can regrow these seeds These are about a quarter inch thick. Cut them kind of thick because they're going to uh, shrink anyway. Check on this hamburger. Throw some of these in there. Go ahead and pour these sauces in there.
I usually do. I just fill the jar back up twice. Just gonna put some bottled water in there. Just fill it up. Let me see. I think that's what I might do. Just put two bottles of water. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Put two bottles of water. Might only need one. Let me see. Y'all. I might only need one. If I need to add more water, I just add some. Alrighty. I could use these for something. I don't know what I'm using for it though. I don't know. I might make them make little cups out of them. I don't know. Little drinking cups. Uh, I forgot to uh, add one ingredient. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar just to uh, help with the acid, knock some of that acid down. Just put a little sugar. Just a little bit. I don't, you know, just to help with the acid. That's in that tomato sauce. <clears throat> I did get, buy a squash too. I'm going to cut a squash up and saute it. Uh, let me get all the other stuff out. I got corn on the cob. Uh, got my squash. I got my garlic bread. Let me throw that juice in the freezer too. It's smelling good in here. Let me read your comments. Don't cry. <laughs> What's going on, Vanessa? Don? Did the jack corn on the cob? I was gonna make some mustard greens and spinach with hot water cornbread. I ain't never had no hot water cornbread, man. Damn, that should sound good. <coughs> yeah, that sound good. I heard about it. I ain't never had it. squash. I'm just cutting them in little slices and frying them with some salt and pepper. That's basically what a saute is. You just give it some flavor and I'm frying it a little bit. Might put it on top of my spaghetti. Get some cheese maybe, but squash is really good for you. A lot of people don't eat it. I'll be like, man, y'all know what y'all missing. 
I like squash, okra. Uh, uh, uh. Let me get. Let me show y'all what this thing looking like, though. For y'all bird's eye view. I wish I had a camera, man, but you know, I'm a camera, man. Nah, shit, I know how to multitask. I got the stabilizer on it, so when I'm cooking, it don't really, it don't really move. Like if I was just holding my phone normally. So, we got that going. We we'll see that sugar on the top of it. We're gonna mix that in a little bit. I'm gonna throw that hamburger meat. As soon as it's done, I gotta drain it. It's simple and easy to make spaghetti, but it's just, yeah, it's cooking. Y'all see all that grease in there? We, yeah, that's you don't want to put the grease in the spaghetti sauce. You want to drain it before you put it in there. I know a lot of people who probably just throw it straight in the spaghetti. Nah, you don't supposed to do that. Fry the uh, squash in. Oh, kind of crooked. Damn. I wish it can go down, but anyway. Smells great. I got no napkins, no paper towels, it's all like that. Shit.
got a couple stars. Top on, put it on. I'm gonna put it on one. Um, I ain't got no oil, so I'm gonna use a little bit of butter. Border corn. Another tip if you, uh, <clears throat> Want the water to boil fast, go ahead and just put some hot water in the uh, pot so it's already hot, so it ain't gonna take long to, to boil. I usually put it on five or six. See, that pepper and them onions, they open you up. Yeah, the onions had me down crying and shit. That's why. I, they, that was a strong onion. You gotta give me something to drink. That pepper, it clean your sinuses out. 
That's why I love cooking shit. That shit be, that shit like medicine, really, when you cook. Man. I'm sipping on that uh, berry blend, Tropicana. I found out what it tastes like. It tastes like fruit snacks. If you ever ate fruit snacks before, it tastes like the grape kind. That's what it tastes like to me. I told my coworker, shout out my amigo. Uh, I was like, man, I go try this shit, man. He, he he sent his girl out to the store to go look for this shit. I like, man, this shit, this shit the best juice I've had in a while. Shit, me. Back here, what's going on? <clears throat> yeah, the corn on the cob, man. I love corn on the cob. I usually put a, uh, I usually put some salt and pepper and some butter. Let me put it up a little bit more. It's my first time using this, so I got to get used to it. But you know, this is my first time using this tripod. But I usually put that. Uh, I boil my butt, uh, corn. I I like it on the grill though. I like my. Uh, uh, my corn on the cob on the grill, man. I usually put it on the grill with some lemon foil with some salt and pepper and some butter. It's the best corn ever. Yeah. They say the Mexican corn pretty good. I never tried it, but the grilled corn that I make, I don't know what can top it, but uh, I need to check out that uh, Mexican corn. Taking in peace and blessings, brother. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to Steve Gilmore. Shout out to everybody in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just, you know, at home cooking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, See me, I come from a family where we really like to cook for like a bunch of people. So me, I eat leftovers cause shit, me, hey, saving money, shit. I eat leftovers for two or three days, especially spaghetti. I love spaghetti. But garlic bread, man, I was gonna make a salad. I'm like, man, I had my cucumbers and tomato, but they went bad in like two days. I had them in the refrigerator. I'm like, shit. I was gonna eat, eat a uh, salad with my, uh, um, I'm gonna let y'all see this right quick. Wash my hands. I don't know if any of y'all like squash, but shit, I love it. I love vegetables and fruit. I love mushrooms, but them shit gotta be cooked right. Them shit gotta be cooked right. Saute, they ain't really saute. You know, what's going on? Real Top is TV, thank you for tapping in. We're gonna go to a bird's eye view again. Let me adjust that right quick. Oh. Yo. See, when I saw a taste of, I just wanted what, looking like that one right there. That's how I like, when I saute my vegetables and onions, that's how I look. I don't want my food burnt, but I just want it a little brown. Water boiling for the uh, corn. Shit, we got the uh, spaghetti sauce right here. 
I should have uh, put the spaghetti sauce in a smaller pan, but it don't matter. This is what these looking like. I'm actually about to try one, see how tender it is. Yeah. Mmm. Man, I put a little bit more salt. Man, that's actually perfect. Yep. You gotta taste your own food, man. If you don't taste your own food, you ain't no you ain't no real cook. You just cooking just to cook. I wish y'all can taste that shit, man. I really I really wanna cook one day and just let some people try it because I know people probably be like, oh man, he can't really, he probably can't cook like that. But shit, I want to let people try it that I don't even know. Like, cook out right quick at the park or something and let people try, like, you know, try this right quick because, you know, everything ATM be playing when he be like, mm, it's good. Yeah, it really do be good. I was, I'll was say if it's nasty, if, even if it's my food, like, yeah, this nasty. You know, some people, they don't like to tell other people that this shit nasty. I'm like, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the, uh, what's my call it, people? Uh, I'll be like, this all right. You know, it could be better. You know what I'm saying? It should be busting. This juice busting. You got to keep that shit cold. Mm. Hey, what everybody doing today? Let me turn it down. Start this back up. Put the top back on there. We got this four in the pack, uh, corn on the cob. I usually peel the little ears off. But they cut it up. I think it's two pieces of corn, but they cut it up. It might be, yeah, two pieces of corn. When you grow your corn, you're going to have to peel it off. So it's like, man. It's sweet. Yeah, this corn is sweet. You might not need no salt and pepper, but shit, I, I still put salt and pepper in butter. In butter. Mess it off. Gonna throw that in the pot. Gonna pour a little bit of this water out. It's hot. Because once I put all of them in there, the water, the water gonna rise. So. So whenever you're cooking, you know, you adding something in the water, just remember when you put it in there, it's gonna rise. I like to pour a little bit of water off so it won't be overflowing on the stove. It's just simple. Spaghetti, like, to me, it's like one of the easiest things to cook. Ain't really nothing to it. Yeah, ain't really nothing to it. One
whether it, and I have enough and it's too much. So we should be good, throw this away. Butter back. Sometimes I be need a little snack when I be cooking. But sometimes I just make something a little small. Like this little squash. Be pretty good to me, shit. Most people don't eat it. They be like, man, I ain't eat no squash. But I could have cooked it a little bit longer. That shit hot. I like to eat my food hot. Mm-hmm. Perfectly seasoned. Not too much salt, not too much pepper. Mm-hmm. That's feel hot. How about it? How the hell you be eating your food hot? I don't know, but that shit just be good hot. Mm-hmm. And then y'all eat squash? I put butter in there. I usually put oil and fry it. Mm-mm-mm. I really put it on top of my spaghetti and throw some cheese on it. Man, I'm telling you, that's some good eating. I'm like, Tim, where you learn to cook? Shit, my grandma taught me, and I just used my cooking skills that I've obtained over the years, put them together. Yeah. Man, it's a little spicy. I don't know why. It might be that black pepper. I don't know. This shit's a little spicy. Like, I'm eating some jalapeno, but this shit good. I love zucchini, squash, all of, basically almost every fruit and vegetable. But, how you uh cook that uh water cornbread? You just drop the dough, uh, drop the... A uh, little mix in the water. I never had it. I heard about it. You gotta have that kettle cooked cornbread, though, man. Butter that junk up and put the whole kettle pot in the oven. Man. Man, oh man. I like my cornbread a little sweet, too. And buttery. Oh, okay. Upload and see how you making. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can try to make it. Cause I ain't had no good cornbread in a while. A while. Mm-hmm. So 
it's 254 right now. I'm gonna let that spaghetti cook for another hour. I got it on like three. I usually have it on low. I'm gonna turn it down actually. I just needed to get that thing going. I just need to get it going. I might leave it on three. I'm gonna leave it on three. Yeah, this shit's spicy. Got my damn nose running. That's how it's supposed to look. Perfect. Mm. I can taste the squash, salt and pepper, and the herbs. That's how your food's supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to taste everything. I didn't go to school for cooking, but shit, it should be good. I got people who telling me they want me to make plates and shit. The soul food, the candy yams, the best. I've ever had shit. Shit me. You be like, damn, who the hell made you? Your grandma made these. You ain't made these. That's what everybody usually tell me. Man. Mm mm mm. Bon appetit. <laughs> yeah, this shit good. I didn't ate the whole damn pan almost. But I love sauteing vegetables, onions, carrots, anything. They give it a little more flavor. I don't know if I can eat it raw, but sauteing it, I eat a whole bunch of vegetables. It also got that butter flavor too, but all I got left is to bake the uh, garlic bread and boil the noodles. That's it. But um, yeah, that's it. It didn't really take me that long to make it, you know. I'm really just taking my time because I like my food to cook slow. I don't like the fast cooked food. It, it, it's a big difference. I look like Lloyd Banks. Nah, that's the first one, man. Yeah, that's the first one. I ain't never heard of Lloyd Banks. I swear I look like somebody to somebody. Yeah, that's the first one. I done heard Snoop Dogg. That was the first. I done heard T.I. That was the first. Um, I don't know, though. The, the number one thing is, man, you look like my cousin. That's what everybody says. That's why when I go to Africa, they're going to be like, man, you sure you got my cousin? <laughs> they're going to be like, man, I just seen you. <laughs> nah, somebody always say I look like somebody. But it's cool. They just say I got that face. I don't know. Shit, me. I just... It's only one of me was, well, I got twin sisters, so there's actually two of me, but well, we different people, but, you know, uh, shit. Woo! Damn, that shit cleaning me out. Whatever that shit is, I think it's that damn pepper. That shit cleaning me out. But, um, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up, um, with that shit. I just, um, I might live stream this Fortnite game. I just had 12 kids in Fortnite. The season just started, man. I went crazy on these people. I'm killing the whole team. Teams by myself. I'm going in like a damn <laughs> Navy SEAL. But it was pretty fun. You know, I didn't play like three games, but I had 12 kills. I could have had about 16 kills, man. And I don't even play this shit like that. That's what's crazy. I was like, man, I think people need to see this shit. 
the boy that had 12 kills and it's only his third game in the new season. But uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna play Fortnite. <laughs> man, I love Xbox and PS4, man. I like that Rainbow Six on Xbox. Yeah, that Rainbow Six. Whoo! That's my that's my probably my favorite game on Xbox. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna check out. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. You know, make sure y'all hit that like button. You know the rest. But uh, yeah, cooking with ATM. You know, ATM's cooking. We're gonna have some more uh, coming soon. Um, shout out to everybody. You know, Trafflers family, YouTube family. Shout out to everybody. But uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Rainbow Six. But uh, you know, I'm gonna uh, catch y'all on the next one. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. You know how we do. ATM, 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 ATM.